Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Saturday. It's Mr. Joshua with another custom toy review. So, uh, this morning I'd like to show off to you guys my custom Marvel Legends, the Human Torch, or Johnny Storm. So I bought this figure off of eBay for about, uh, ten bucks with, you know, some shipping and handling required. And, uh, it was pretty cheap. Came with the box and everything. The reason why I bought this figure is because it came with the box, and right now I'm doing um, a bunch of uh, custom zombie figures. And so, I'm, again, what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the uh, whole entire Fantastic Four team, but as zombies. The first one that I did was the Invisible Woman. She's just about done. I'm just giving her a little bit more of battle damage, and she should be up and going. Uh, I got the... Uh, Mr. Fantastic, he's almost done. The Thing, he's done. And we have, of course, the Human Torch. So, um, what inspired me, what inspired me to do this figure was the fact that I've always liked zombies, especially when <clears throat> Marvel decided to take the, um, the, uh, you know, Marvel comics and, you know, mix them up with zombies. I thought that was actually a really cool concept. And that's what inspired me to do this figure. I've always wanted to see a zombie human torch, but unfortunately, you know, Marvel Legends has never released one yet. Um, I'm hoping one day they'll actually release like a whole entire line of Marvel zombies. I know they did, they did like five or six of them. They did the uh, the Hulk, uh, Spider Man, Sabretooth. Who else was there? Uh, anyways, they, they did about four or five, maybe six different figures, and they were all, they were all pretty cool looking. Well, in Captain America too, gotta have Captain America. Captain America one was pretty cool, but um, yeah, they only did like five or six of them, and I really wish they just would have released a whole entire line of different zombies. You know, that would have been pretty awesome. But until then, you have people like me who'll make the you know zombie figures. Which I have no problem doing. It's fun, you know. It's a fucking, uh, uh, it's a fucking fun thing to do. But uh, yeah, let's get down to this sexy reveal. So as you can see, I did a, a total cut, a, a total restoration on the face. He went from being a sexy pretty boy to uh, a grungy looking undead zombie. So what I did is I drilled out his mouth, and I just made a big giant hole where his mouth is. And then what I did was I took some Magic Sculpt hardener and Magic Sculpt resin, combined those two, and you know made his teeth. And with the stuff that I have, it takes 24 hours to cure, so I had to wait 24 hours before I came back to paint the mouth and the teeth. And so after that, you know, mouth, teeth. I painted the face a zombie gray color, painted the eyes white, gave him a little bit of blood running down his lips. Well, his would-be lips. He ain't got no lips anymore. And he's got some, you know, blood splatter on his forehead. And overall, it was a fairly easy, you know, project for the face. Then after that, that wasn't enough for me, so what I did was I gave him, like, a big giant chunk of his chest missing very detailed. It looks like it's rotted and a little bit burnt because he's the Human Torch. And I would imagine whenever he goes flame on, it would at least burn parts of his uh, exposed flesh, you know. And here you have another gash mark, which is pretty cool. And right here is a, a little bite mark where he would have been potentially bitten, in my opinion. Maybe he, got, he was sitting there and he was too busy just, you know, battling all these zombies and wasn't paying attention on his left, and the zombie grabbed his arm and just, you know, took a big chunk out of him. And uh, my favorite part is right here, the exposed bone and all that rotted flesh in there. I actually sculpted the bone out and just, you know, smashed it in there and sculpted it, detailed it, all that great stuff.
As for the or as for the articulation, he's actually very good. It's it's very uh, well detailed when it comes to articulation. It's awesome. You know, his head can move up and down. It's on the ball joint, so you have got the butterfly joints, which is really, really awesome. I like that. They're, you know, slightly loose, but I don't fucking care. He's a zombie for crying out loud. Arms move up about that much. Rotation. Arms crunch about that much. Which really isn't too bad. He comes with alternate hands, too. Well, these are the alternate hands, but the other ones are just, you know, regular fist. Um, I haven't had a chance to turn those into zombie fists yet, but I will in the near future. Until then, I'm going to keep these ones on because it just uh, makes them look more eerie looking, in my own personal opinion. Ab crunch. Swivel. He can kick about that far up, which is nice. Can't really go back far further than that. Swivel. He can potentially kick his own ass if he wanted to. Feet move up and down. I think they're on a uh, swivel. Yes, they are. That's cool. And, uh, yeah. Very good for posing. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Check him out. Pretty awesome. Uh, with this figure in particular, it took me at least a good three or four days just to get him the way they want him to look. And um, the reason why is because I've been working a lot lately. I've been working between 10 and 15 hour shifts. So unfortunately, that pre the combination of that and me getting home and sleeping pretty much takes up my whole entire you know, day for every single day of the week, unfortunately. Except for Sundays. Sundays are usually my um, rest days, which kind of suck, but, you know, it is what it is. But with this figure, I think it might, I might be adding a little bit more damage to him, especially to at least one leg, but I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be doing to this figure. Or uh, maybe I'll just leave him alone and leave him the way that he is. You know, he is pretty cool looking. He, de he definitely looks evil and dark. And I really like the black suit that the uh, Fantastic Four team are, are wearing in general in this um, in this little team that they have with the Marvel Legends. It's pretty cool. And with me, I I like the the traditional you know main color blue and black, but um, you know this one's just uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I I really like the way that looks, especially when they're converted into zombies. But, uh, yeah, that's all they have for this review. A very cool custom that I did. I'm really impressed the way that it came out, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm also excited the fact that he has his own box that he comes in with. In the box that I, the box that he came in with, I actually customized it into a zombie box, so I'll show the, those boxes off to you guys after the reviews of the four Fantastic Four figures. Until then... Thanks for watching and have yourselves a fun Saturday afternoon.